So. So. It's actually been a while since we've done a true at a cringe. Yeah, a while. It a has while, been, yeah. Actually. Also, can I just point out, so last week's video, was it last week's video? I've been having some little issues with my editing software, so I had to use new editing software, and it took me hours to complete, and I still messed up the audio. <laughs> <laughs> look, um, look, I, I spent this is all, what this channel's become. <laughs> look, I've turned 30, okay? I'm allowed to have boomerisms now, okay? okay. I get, I'm, I, I look, get it. You didn't have boomerisms before you turned 30 James yeah yeah I can't it's just now it's more socially acceptable because it, you're 30 am I allowed to get away with them more I don't yeah. know yeah I think so I think so um, is there anything no you know what we'll save any and all updates to the end sorry there's a few things I kind of want to talk about but look we'll, okay. we'll, we'll get there first up you ready for this one Megan this one's, this one's I thought this one was particularly good best weed strain to be a good submissive bottom <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I'm headed to see a couple of friends in a state with legal weed and I'm going to end up being their submissive bottom play thing. We all love smoking and since I'm in a weed legal state, I'm going to have way more options than normal. Does anyone have any good strains to get that will help make me a submissive slut? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? I know with just weed, I'm only talking about feeling marginally sluttier, but every little bit helps, okay, Tesco's. <laughs> I also know strains hit people differently, so no pressure if it doesn't work for me. Thanks for any advice people have. Um, How do you make me a slut? What can I smoke to make my asshole a slut? <laughs> so, uh, Robert, let us know. <laughs> 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 he's the only part like, well, he's the only part of that I know that like smokes all the time that watches us so you yes, know what I mean it's like, so yeah Robert I'm asking you <laughs> directly you <swear laughs> uh, honestly look see the problem I've got with like smoking green like it just so I so I, I have I, a problem with it it's just now that I have like fucking clinical f anxiety yeah it just it doesn't, doesn't mix work. My, no no does not mix and like go into like a paranoia state and everything whenever I have it it's just not good I feel like the problem that I've got I haven't got, smoked it in a long time though. no and for me even before far longer Aussie. yeah way before, way before Aussie. Aussie it would have been maybe 2020 yeah probably yeah like begin the covid maybe yeah yeah in like that time maybe yeah. was the last time but like it was wild um for like honestly the problem that i've got with it is even if it does work with you you know what i mean maybe like you know you can smoke every day and it doesn't really affect, affect you. you the problem that i've got but is like, where's the catch up well the problem that i find with a lot of people is they're con it makes them content with where they are right now yeah does that make any sense i've spoken to a few of them meets and like all the ones that I know that don't smoke anymore, I'll just say it's like the problem. It does. It just keeps you like it. It gets you trapped where you are it gets almost you stagnant. Yeah. 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 And there's no. And plus, I know too many people that's got psycho psychosis. Oh yeah, mate. There's this one guy down the countryside from us, and oh, oh he my is god, he, 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 I, I wish honestly? we, I wish we could do a video talking about him on Gumroad. It's because oh my god, this guy is absolutely. He's going to be eaten by his dog someday. Yeah, 100%. Like he's got these two pit bulls, and oh my god, the guy is like all he does is post like schizo Christian lamps. Yeah, and like it's and shoot people, but he's fucking venison. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to start a gym and all, and oh <laughs> my god. It's, uh, mate, it's it's wild, but the thing is pure psychosis. Yeah, no, the thing like well, the thing is, the guy's had a really tough life. Yeah, he, he has. has had a really tough life. Like he's had a lot of like really just like I, I wouldn't want to have any of the situation that he's had to deal with. Yeah, but for him, smoking green definitely did not help him. It doesn't mix. It did not mix well with him. You no know, trauma and, and green and just a bad mental state. Yeah, to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, it's, really it's nice. not a good combination. No. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do any of you guys know how to become a good submissive, submissive bottom? Um, I would love to do a video talking about him, but like honestly, I, no, I can't. No, can't. He's too, too he's, close. To he's kind of like a friend of a friend sort of situation. And no, like, it's too close to home. Yeah, him. and I don't want to like. I would love to maybe do like interviews on Gumroad from time to time, but like honestly, I, I, I want to. No, absolutely not. I don't want to be involved with them. No. No. We have people around for James's birthday the other week, and um, two of our mates said, "Oh, 
because they asked me beforehand, oh, can so-and-so come? And I was like, yeah, anyone come, can come. That's fine. It's no problem. And then whenever they were here, they went, oh, James, we've got a surprise for you. James was like, what is it? And he goes, we've got a visitor coming. He went, who? And he said his name. James was like, oh, fuck, no, I don't know. I don't nah, want him to know where I live. Please, nah. please, don't. And they were pissing themselves. We're like, no, he's actually not coming. But like, <laughs> no, he's, he's not getting there. Anyway, look, let's keep going. Let's keep going. i got some other good ones here. Now, this is way more Reddit stuff. This is, I feel like this entire video is going to be pure Reddit. Okay. Which... Can you zoom in a wee bit? Yeah, of course. I slept with my wife's affair partner's wife, and I'm divorcing her soon. So, the man <sighs> that your wife had an affair with, it's his wife? Yeah, it sounds like okay. it. Okay. Uh, we got married almost three years ago. Three years in a marriage. And it's yeah, it's already falling oh apart. God. Yeah, it wasn't going to work, guys. Um... We got married almost three years ago. She started having an affair with her co-worker one years ago, two years in a marriage. Um, I got to know I got to know that because I saw his car outside my house one day. I had my suspicions. I hired a PI and gathered evidence Wait. that she was having an affair with him. What do you mean you saw the car outside the house? And, and it was he didn't say anything? <laughs> you, know. you know, there was a great one I saw the other day. There was a great one I saw the other day. It's like, yeah, I don't remember my dad ever having... <laughs> Remember my mom ever said, yeah, my guy friends are coming round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. kind of, it's, 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 it's a funny one when yeah. you think about it, you know. Um, uh, I hired a PI and gathered evidence that she was having an affair with him. I was angry. Then I got a call from the co-worker's wife that she came to know about the affair too. She only had texts they used to send, but I have all the receipts of their hangouts. Together, we decided to confront them. We used to meet up a lot. She told me she had suspected his affair since her pregnancy. They have three children together. One day, we had an idea that we should sleep with each other as revenge. We did, and not gonna lie, it felt good. We've been meeting and having sex for a while. She is an amazing woman. I won't say she is better at some things in bed than my wife. I would say she is better in some things in bed than my wife. Uh, Mostly, I am very angry towards my wife because in some of her texts with her affair partner, she and the affair partner made fun of affair partner's wife, saying things that she has gained weight, her vagina was destroyed, (laughs) and other disgusting stuff. What the fuck? Because she's had three kids. (laughs) I cannot believe that she would say something like this while being a woman. She even made fun of my fertility issues saying that I'm not a man because the chances of me having kids is very low that's a low blow yeah that is fucking me this this whole situation just ain't working for no one literally people literally can't help that from fucking hell yeah Um, I do not feel bad about my affair I like the sex life I had with AP's wife way more than my wife. She hardly ever gives me oral, but expects me to give her one. At least a fair partner's wife was more enthusiastic about it, and it was the best oral I ever had. AP's wife wants to tell her husband. Yeah, I don't care. Like honestly, why are they still all together? No. What's going on here? Are they still Just affairs like, and affairs and affairs? I mean, what's going on? Like <laughs> this is weird. Um, I guess we are both tired about carrying out the revenge affair we both got carried away we were both so driven by the revenge that we got addicted to it i will confront my wife soon i already have the divorce papers ready since we do not have a joint account or marital assets it will be easy for us ap's wife might have some problems because they have kids but she has the power to take him to the cleaners i know i sound like an awful person but i'm already checked out of my marriage yeah well there you go you're mentally out of there mentally out of there. i mean you're it sounds like you were mentally out of there a long time ago papers like at least this side of the affair like they don't have kids involved so yeah like, sign the papers and get her out the fucking door <laughs> yeah, like, I, that. Wait, why are you waiting wait, the, see it's stories like these that you know sometimes we do a lot of stories and a lot of the stories can be very what they got woo factors. Yeah. This doesn't really have a woo factor. It's just depressing and sad, and that's where it's like, why yeah. Are you, how just, of, why are you putting yourself through it? You have the evidence. Just like let it out on the table before she comes home one night and be like, this is the evidence that I have. Pack your shit. Leave the house. Sign this paper before you go. Yeah. See you see later. See a bite. I feel like, can you not just, like, is this not just, like, the definition of, like, wife swap? Yeah, basically. <laughs> can you not just, like, can you not just, like, swap each other out? You know, know. what I mean at this point? Because, like, I don't think he's like each other. I know. Like, come on. Are you tired of overreaching and overbearing censorship on important and non-important issues? Well, you're in luck. 
For just $7.50 a month, you can get access to over 60 hours of completely uncensored and unhinged schizo takes from Megan and James. From I mean, us. I mean, look, um, it's 60 hours at the minute. Every week we do a minimum of like three hours. Yep. So, you know. You get a lot of content. There's a lot on there. A lot of a- content. Ranging from... Or even... Yes, they are that spicy. Even the name of the topic must be censored. You can't even... We can't even promote it on YouTube. (laughs) You can stream or download all the videos from Gumroad and cancel your membership at any time. Though new videos every week on average come to two to three hours long so we can really go in depth on any topic and we are not strangled by the YouTube algorithm. That's a big issue I always find. Yeah. If we can wa- be open and uncensored and not have to worry about any of that. If you want to talk about a subject YouTube really promotes oh you're going to have to get that done in 20 minutes mm-hmm. but on this we can really take your time and really delve into yep. it. And most weeks we do bonus off topic videos and yes we even have a teaser video you can download for free from Nick beardia.co.uk in it we talk about Northern Ireland for four and a half hours <laughs> I don't even think we're scratch sorry no guys. it's to try and help you understand who we are as people our worldview, and how we can kind of be aliens to most people if any of that sounds good to you go ahead links down below and let's get back to the video so we've got some other stuff here that oh I, no no we've got another one here we'll do this one first this is an update yeah no mm, okay you know what we'll skip that one because that one's a bit more just depressing than anything okay uh, this one on the other hand okay, sex workers of reddit what was the saddest <laughs> request you've ever received I told you we're doing sad shit today okay. instead of like disgust we're doing like that is actually just depressing I hope my life never turns out like this yeah just you know if you're having a hard time at least watch this video and be like, uh, at least I'm not like that. Yeah, so look, here's one here that I find. Now, again, this is just depressing. Okay. Like, I can't, like, explain it. It's just fucking miserable, okay. man. I was hired by a... I was hired by a middle-aged woman. Martha? Be- <laughs> Have any of you guys watched BB Leader? Leader? Go it's watch mad. it. Just I'll go watch it. Go watch um, I was hired by a middle-aged woman who just wants, compa- wants a companion for the evening and night. She was a beautiful woman who I didn't understand why she hired me. But I met her at the bar and asked her name and she gave me her card and told me to treat her to treat her and my name was Bill. This is yeah, well, you'll find really, out. really weird. So I bought her drinks and paid for her meal. We went to watch a movie. I think it was Molly's Game. I can't remember. It's Molly's Game? I don't know. Then Hold on. I'm, I'm on a Google What's Molly's oh, Game. James, it's just a movie. All right, okay, fine. Do you guys know in the comments then? Then we, then we took an Uber back to hers and we spent the night. I only find out wh- why she does this by talking after we spent the night. Her husband and son died oh, about four years ago and she likes pretending that she's having a bad day. She likes prete- she likes pretending when she's having a bad day that she goes on a date with someone that reminds her of her husband. People often think that it's about sex sometimes. It's not about the sex. It's about the companionship and the feeling of reliving past moments or even just ignoring emotions at the time. That, that is that, so that, 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 fucking I, sad. I told you guys that we're doing sad stuff today. Oh my God. I told you this is a sad video. That's sad. And that is really sad. And you know, the worst thing is, again, I feel I like... I wouldn't even want to get paid for that. <laughs> yeah, think, yeah, yeah, of course, I'll take you out for dinner and we'll go watch a wee movie. Yeah, come fine. on. It's fine. Don't I, worry. Would, I would feel bad taking money for that. <laughs> yeah, Do that... you know what I mean? I know people got to take money, got to live, but like, I couldn't. Yeah. I would just make it a thing, right? We'll meet up every Sunday or yeah. every Friday or something. Because, like, that's like, just... Once a month. <laughs> Thor, enough of this shaking business. You've been fed. They're, the cats are getting worse. The cats are getting the cat, old. You no, know, the cats the are getting... cats are getting old and they're expecting fed every five fucking minutes. No, it is. It's getting really it's bad. Ridiculous. It's getting out of hand with these cats. Like, it, it, they've always been fed twice a day. Yeah. And for some strange reason, they think... And full bowls twice a day. Yeah, right? no. Full bowls of wet and dry. Uh-huh. They have the choice. And now they just decide, no, I want fed every 30 minutes. <sighs> get out, get out. Right, let's, let's see what else do we have here, because I've got a few other bits and pieces, all right? Right, here we go, this one here. Back when I worked in a dungeon. Sorry? <laughs> Sorry, what? Back when I worked in a dungeon, while there was no penetrative sex or anything, that would be classified as sex. No exchange of fluids, etc. What? Still classified as sex work, though. Explanation point. What? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of the, the work around here. It's okay. like, mate... Uh, one client came in, he was married. All he wanted was for me to put on a wig that matched his wife's hair, wear a certain shade of Louis Vuitton lipstick that he brought 
me and his wife wore and Dior perfume that he also brought and his wife wore and then have me compliment him <laughs> while he told me about his day. Oh, God. oh. <laughs> Oh, he was a client up until his divorce and remarriage. Edit. The answer a few PMs. No, it wasn't his wife's lipstick. It was a new lipstick, her brand new shade, in her brand and shade. And no, I didn't pay for it myself as it was a $120 lipstick. I have my own cosmetics. But for special requests, they had to bring me unopened cosmetics for safety reasons. The same applies for perfume. I go fragrance free unless given a requested fragrance. 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 Uh, same rules with the perfume for safety reasons. It has to be unopened packaging. They can take the products back after a session, but the next session they would have to bring me a new unopened package. <gasps> Mate, so, he's paying big bucks, huh? Uh-huh. So most let me keep them for a future session. Oh well, then there you go. Then it's not actually as much as that. That's Be, that is that is depressing. Oh, paying itself. somebody, not even for sex, just paying them to give them compliments and to listen <laughs> about their day. <laughs> that is wild. I told you guys we're doing sad stuff today. You know, <laughs> you know what's even more telling? The yeah. lengths men go. Just to get a fucking compliment. Just to get a fucking compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sad men. Sad men can, like, do a lot of things. I think, you know what it is? I feel like a lot of... Like, most men, like, I would just have an affair. No, I'm going to pay a sex worker to wear my wife's lipstick, perfume, and wig, and... <laughs> Tell me that I, I, <laughs> I love you. I love it. I love and care for you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, but like, like, I feel like so many people though are unattuned. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Unattuned to their surroundings, like the people around them. That it's just so they they're living different lives, but they live beside each other. Does that make any sense? Yeah. You know, I don't know. There's something really sad about Wild. the whole thing. Let's keep going. Do you guys want more sad stuff, or will we go for something else? Uh, we'll no, for something else. You sure? Yeah, I'm getting sad. Sad, Are you getting really sad? sad. Do you want, can we do one more sad one? Okay. Ew. So. Uh, I've known a lot of sex workers and variations on this often come up when chatting. Mentions a few times already about people just wanting to be held happens a lot. It's not viewed as sad at all. I don't know. I think it's kind of... It's a sad state of affairs. It's a sad state that people, you know, have to are pay so for- desperate for that companionship that they have to pay for it. Yeah. Um, there are dozens of stories I've heard that were sad in different ways, but the two that stand out are about a fairly young Australian guy who got his new friend for the evening back to his room, and when she was checking him in the shower, she seen his junk was a disaster zone. She said it was all... Sp- she said it was all a swollen lump. Oh. He did not want sex. He wanted her to push pencils down his penis. Ah. She refused to even touch him and he started crying. Don't. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. No. Don't put foreign objects down your pee pee, guys. Ugh. That's. That, that's. The other story I remember is about a middle aged European guy who, when he got. Who, when he got some one back to his room he would make phone calls during sex he would call his wife and kids <gasps> and <talk laughs> <on the act. gasps> he would call at weird times and say he could not sleep and wanted to hear their voices ah <laughs> He could not do anything until he made a call and started acting the good husband and father. By the way, I was told a story more than by more than one person. He did a lot. No. That. Uh, no. Nah. No. 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 Both of those people were in jail. Both. That is wild. <laughs> Wild. Right. Do you want to do something? You know what? We're not going to do something more enjoyable because you. This is your request, no, Megan. This only happened two days ago, guys. This is your. I've seen this. So. Right. So I don't know this story, by the way. Okay. Mother arrested for throwing disabled son into crocodile-infested canal in India. I mean, the thing Woman is. Woman says her husband considered Chal a burden, and they frequently quarrelled about it. I mean, the thing I'm is, it, it is India. So, like, you know, you see, but like, well, James, you see, Megan. You see these sort of stories all the time, like China, where they just flush the baby down the drain. I know, I know. Like, you know, straight up. So, like, it's India. Like, you know, um, you need a... A woman has been arrested in southern India for allegedly throwing her disabled six-year-old Sex. son... Six-year-old son in the canal infested with crocodiles after an argument with her husband, police said. The dismembered body of the boy who had hearing and speech impairments... Is that it? Is that... Yeah. What? He was deaf and... Yeah. Well, it's speech a- impairments. So, that doesn't mean that... 
he probably might have been able to talk. He probably just wasn't very good that, at it. So, so he, he's he, not like. So he may, may have just needed sign language, huh? Or hearing aid. Yeah, hearing aid probably would have fixed. Because hearing affects the speech a yes. lot. Yes, yeah, it does. So a hearing aid probably could have fixed the whole fucking thing. Anyway, um. The dismembered body of the boy who had hearing and speech impairments was recovered from the canal in the Uttara Kannada district of Kantaka State Where is this? on Kanta- Sunday. I don't know, it's probably Mumbai um, or some shithole. Like. Some trivi, whatever. The woman, 32, blamed her husband, 36. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, For the baby, the child that, just ended up in yeah. like a crocodile liver. Yeah. Um, it was neither of our, f- no, it was totally their fault instead. It wasn't my fault. So the mum <laughs> blamed the dad for forcing her to throw their child to his death, a local police officer told us. Um, the husband has also been arrested. She said her husband considered their son a burden and they frequently quarrelled about it. After a quarrel over the same matter escalated on Saturday night, the mum allegedly threw her son into a waste canal linked to the crocodile infested something river around 9pm. They threw them in the poo river. So they threw them in the poo river. The poo river that's also connected to crocodiles. Yeah, great. Great parenting. Go down. Alright. Uh, the dad or the mum said her husband tortured her mentally and told her to throw their child into the canal. My husband is responsible. He no. used to keep saying, let the son die and that all he does is eat. Let him be. I'd say if my husband keeps saying that, how much torture can my son endure? Where will I go to share my pain? She reportedly told police. Uh, what the uh, fuck uh, are you on about? You know what? Like, don't get me wrong. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> so your only <laughs> other option is to throw your child in a fucking poo river connected to crocodiles. You absolute scumbag. I mean, like, I... Uh, scumbag. Well, you know, uh, if you guys are interested, we do... Sterilization of castration. <laughs> All I'm saying is we did do a video talking about India... I'm gone good. Was it last month? Oh, oh Meg in your toe. My toe. <laughs> oh, I heard that. That was a bad. I think you'll hear that in the video. See you well. Oh, after the, oh, my toe. I'm complaining about her toe. My child's been fucking bald to death. After the neighbours raised the alarm, police sent divers to find the body, but the search operation had to wait until the next day as it already turned dark. The boy's body was found in the jaws of a crocodile and was retrieved after the crocodile was captured, police said. Uh, the body had severe injuries, bite marks and a missing right arm. The woman who worked as a house help, she's a carer, she's a fucking carer! <laughs> yeah, that's bad. And her husband, a mason, were later arrested on murder charges. Okay, well that's that's good. At least, yeah, that's like, you know, fucking mad. I mean, like, for third world country, uh, no, wait, no, no, sorry. <laughs> India superpower, I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. I forgot India okay, superpower. Yeah. Uh, Barat. <laughs> Fucking blat. Blat. It sounds like what you say after you fucking fart. I know. It sounds what like a comic book would write whenever you fart. Yeah, blat. it is blat. Have they ch- have they changed the name yet? Because I, I, I don't know. I heard they were. Ch- and do you want to change their name to blat? I don't know. Do you want to do another one? Do you want to do something? Do you want to do something fun? Let's do something fun, man. Dog has hiccups. Oh. Does it actually? Yeah. You okay, babe? Yeah. Right, let's do something fun. I need to do something fun, Megan. This video's just been too depressing. Um, although we are going to be doing something fun for Gum. We would actually come to think we're going to okay. be... I want to do two bags of geezers. Oh, okay. Because I've been wanting to do this one for like a while. Okay. So I have. So like, I like I think it's fun, guys, okay? But well, you know what? You're going to have to sign up for the Gum if you want to see that stuff. But we'll do something fun here, okay? Like, let's okay. give us five minutes. It won't be five minutes because I'm just going to pause. <laughs> like, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I lied. Yeah, James lied. He said, oh, do you want to do this one? I said, yeah, because that's fucking more cheerful than what we've done. Yeah, well, this was the other... What? No, this was last week, was it? Oh, no, no, this was... Well, this is this is an update released today. All right, okay, so... Um, uh, Bushmills, man nailed the offence attack being investigated as possible paramilitary-style assault. Well, yeah, the, yeah, well, yeah, well we kind of knew fucking that. obviously. So, yeah, in Bushmills, some man was like, actually like nailed yeah, nailed the offence like fucking Jesus and that he was I don't know who he was found by but that he obviously was just found dead nailed to the fucking no I don't think he's dead he's no, dead he is, is dead is he dead yeah. I th- no I think they took him to the hospital is he dead mm, I don't know police in Northern Ireland renew their appeal for information after the victim of the sinister and brutal attack in the village of Miss Mills was left with potentially life changing injuries yeah okay, see so he's, not no, he's not dead so yeah I, um, I was talking to a few boys on the Gumwoo Discord about like this and I, I I just think like look Paramount deleted I reckon the boy just wasn't paying his tax yeah but I mean like you pretty, pretty much freelancing drugs and if you want to sell drugs in Northern Ireland either that or he would strap 
Yeah, so it's what it's like. It's always drug related when it comes to power yeah, Always. Always. Um, uh, police were called to reports of an attack just after midnight on Sunday. See it happen on Sunday, Sunday morning in Bushmills, County Antrim. Officers from the police service of Northern Ireland found a man with a nail through each hand attached to a fence. Yeah, he's fucking pinned up like Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what? The Jesus of Bushmills. I, I, I said, I said, the was like, what the fuck? Is this like something from Dexter or something? I know, fuck's sake. Yeah, right? it's like, are, are we really getting bu- are, like? No Northern Ireland is pretty mild. It's like, are we turning into like... Little... Nearby in a public car park near Dundreef Park. I don't know. Two vans, including one belonging to the victim, have been set on fire. So they know. Yeah. Um, officers also said the graffiti on the wall of public toilets was believed to be linked to the attack. Aye, but what was the, pu- what was the graffiti? Because it's going to say exactly They're what it was. They're going to say. Aye, well, an update PSI told. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No. Uh, either way, they don't really have much else about this. I just thought it was fun to put in because I just thought it was like... W- the Jesus w- of Bushmills. He G- has returned. Yeah. So, look, like, do you want to do actually something fun now? Which I can't guarantee because I don't know if I've got anything fun. <laughs> okay. Normally, the thing is, I don't really save stuff. Like, see if I come across stuff for Terminal Online. I, like, if it's fun or if it's like... Only if it's like... You really... just kind of remember it's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, we'll see what happens, okay? Okay. James can't I can't find, find anything, anything fun. Like, okay. I, can't, I can't find anything that's actually... So we're actually... going to wrap it up, guys, because <laughs> there's nothing fun. It's all depressing. Yeah, I actually, like, I've got a ton more depressing stuff, but I can't find a single... <clears throat> there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing not even... Not, nothing not... will crack a smile, my guys. Yeah. So, like... Um, <laughs> Is there anything worth? Um, Deck of Triggers will be ready very soon, but the problem is because it's not going to be on Kickstarter, we can't have a pre-launch page. Well, we might be able to. It's gonna, but it's gonna be like a workaround where you have to like just sign up again. I don't know when that's going to be, though, because yeah. Jeff's taking a sweet-ass time. Well, he's, he's, yes, I know. Soon. It'll happen soon. soon. Hope, I, like, I'm just saying, it's like, like, it needs to happen before we go away on holiday. Yeah. Pretty much, you know what I mean? But also, I need to wait for the cards to get yeah. like, proof print. Oh, I'll show you guys the tin. Do you guys want to see the top? It's going to happen before we go away on holiday. Well, I want it to have... Two weeks. Oh, no, it's not happening. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shit. Shit, it's not happening at all. Um, But, yeah, um, is there anything else worth... You know what? I can be arsed. If she's interested, like you know, just check out social media. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, check out the Gum Road. What do you What do you want to do then? Because I so I find this interesting book. So I did. It's a PDF now. I say it's a book. It's not really a book, but I find this one and it talks about uh, the different the different races. Let's just call it that. Okay. Um, I think it's kind of funny. Not oh, gonna lie. British geezers. Uh, well, it's either between the two. I think I want to do British geezers though, because okay. the guys were asking about British geezers. Okay. You know what I mean? I kind of want to do. I, I want to do a North FC. It's been a while. All I smell is garlic, mate. I need to take a stop off. Well, yeah, because you spilt it. I spilt garlic puree. I don't know where it's coming is from. It from your hands. No, but oh, I'm just getting massive whiffs of garlic. Mate, this is bad. We need to stop. We need to stop recording because I'm just sniffing myself. <laughs> right, okay. Look, guys, uh, you guys know the situation. Check all the links out down below. Um, Bye. <laughs>